and welcome here to Talk FCB and welcome back to yet another video today guys. The first here on the main channel but there has been plenty going on as well over on more Talk FCB and right now it's just crazy when it comes to Barca. There's so much happening, pre-seasons underway, transfer news and of course we have got one now wrapped up. Rafinha is on his way and we're going to be talking today about his very first words as a new Barcelona player. We're also going to be talking though about a confirmed departure by way there of Francisco Trincao and there's actually a lot to discuss about that particular deal. There's also frustration from the club when it comes to Samuel Titi. and speaking of frustration, speaking there about anger, we're going to talk about Lewandowski and his situation. He's training with Bayern still. But he's not happy, and there is a lot to cover on that front. So tonight, guys, another late one. Let's get to it. But if we do indeed begin with Rafinha, who was officially confirmed as a new Barca player early on Wednesday afternoon by the club, following that statement there that was released by Barca, he then arrived into the Barcelona airport this afternoon. He's gone through all the necessary medical examinations there that need to be done before this signing is 100% wrapped up. He's gone through all of that, and now it's great to see him donning the Barca colours, and he looks at absolutely delighted to be here and I'm sure it's also a great feeling for him because there's been a lot of speculation a lot of waiting around this summer hoping I'm sure he was praying that this move happen well now it has now he is being able to live and experience and turn this dream into reality and I think that's become even more evident now his feelings after listening to his first words because Rafinha said that signing for Barca is a dream come true for me he said ever since I was a kid I've wanted to come here you know growing up playing football this was always my aim he said it's a tremendous honour he said not only for me but also my family my friends he said they know as well what this means to me he spoke of course about his idol and his inspirations growing up he said I saw Ronaldinho come here we all know about the admiration he has for Ronaldinho. He said he achieved so much. And after that, there was Neymar too. And he said, as a Brazilian player to come here, it's an honour. And I hope to reach the same height. He said, I hope to reach even half of what they've done at this club. And I think already, Rafinha there giving us an insight into his mentality. He said, I'm excited to win. I've come here to win. He said, I like to win. Any time that I lose... I find that tough. Can you see that? When Rafinha's out on the field, every game that he plays, he gives absolutely everything. And he said, you can expect a player who's going to be fighting every single game and in training too, to become the best player that he can possibly be. And it was great to hear from him. Fantastic indeed to hear from our new signing, Rafinha. There's going to be lots more coming up, of course, on the channel about him in these coming days. And Juan Laporta did indeed confirm on Wednesday morning. He said, things are going well. He said, this week we are are going to present both Rafinha and Dembele and Gerard Romero has confirmed now that Dembele's presentation there to confirm his renewal, his effective re-signing with the club is going to take place on Thursday and then on Friday. It's the big day. It's his big day. Rafinha will be presented as a Barca player and I cannot wait to see that all unfold as we keep moving forward. But of course, guys, in amongst all of the euphoria, really, that surrounded that official Rafinha announcement earlier today, there was also a departure that sort of went under the radar, I feel. Francisco Trincao has departed the club today, confirmed by Barca and indeed Sporting. But I want to talk about this in a bit of detail here, because Barca left out a lot of details about this move, whereas Sporting actually have given us the information. And of course, Trincao, somebody there that signed for Barca back in 2020, 31 million euros we paid for him there under Bartomeu. And to be fair, Trincao did show a lot of promise in Portugal. There was talent there, no doubt about it. It hasn't worked out as of yet. But I think the problem for the club and why they maybe haven't given Trincao any more time to really show that is because, again, typically, when it comes to Bartomeu signings, it's about wages. Because even at just 20 years old, signing for this club there back in 2020, he was given a deal by Bartomeu of around 130,000 euros. Euros 
a week until 2025. And Barca, that's why they loaned him out last season to Wolves. That, of course, didn't really go to plan. He didn't really suit it there with Wolves in the Premier League. They did not end up making that loan permanent. And the only good thing we really to come out of that was that Wolves actually ended up paying us £6 million for that loan deal last season. So already we're trying to claw back some of that transfer fee. Now today, Barca claim that they have loaned Trincao to Sporting until the end of the season. They claim that in that deal, there is an option to buy at the end of that loan. But Sporting and the details that they've released seem to be a little bit different. Because what we do know is that Sporting are going to pay a three million loan fee there for that season-long loan for Trincao. But what's important to stress here, guys, is that at the end of that loan deal, it is widely expected he will sign permanently. It will be more of an obligation to buy of an agreed sum there of an additional 7 million euros that Barca will receive. So that there will effectively be 10 million in total that will gain by letting Trincao go. But this is the interesting part too, because although we will be parting with him most likely on a permanent deal, we will retain 50% of any future transfer fee. And that is a huge percentage there to keep hold of, 50% of the player, which basically means if Trincao is sold for 30 million in the future, if he really recaptures some form, Barca then will get another 15 million. So that is a deal that we've managed to negotiate, and I feel managed to negotiate well, and Barca will also retain certain buyback options as well. Sport confirmed that Barca will be eligible to buy Trincao back for 20 million and then going up to 25 million depending on when we activate that buyback clause and I think what we've done here we've covered ourselves in every direction we've got rid of the wages of Trincao we've got a bit of money back in we've retained a huge percentage of the players rights and also covered ourselves if he does explode again if he does start to show the talent that he does have we still have the chance to buy him back at the end of it all. And that, for me, is a good deal. And I hope Trincao goes away and does really well again and recaptures his confidence in his native Portugal. But speaking indeed about departures, guys, let's move on here to Samuel Mtiti. Because this was actually a departure that Barca were really hoping, really banking and really expecting to happen very, very soon because he seemed so close. He was closing in there on a move to Rennes. It would have been a huge relief for everybody at the club to finally move on from these wages that have plagued us now with Mtiti for so many seasons. But it appears the deal's off. It appears now like that deal to go to Rennes it ain't going to happen. And Umtiti, as of right now, will not be going there. And that is a huge blow because it has been widely reported in the Catalan media that this move has fallen through because Samuel Umtiti failed his medical. And as a result of that, Ren were very cautious and sort of dubious about pursuing the move any further because of those doubts over his physical condition. Now, this is a claim that has been disputed and very much denied by the side of Umtiti. His entourage say that is not the case and that's not why this move didn't happen. But all we know right now is that it hasn't. All we know right now is that Umtiti remains at Barca, not in our plans and not as of yet at another club. And it's just so disappointing, so frustrating right now again. And I don't know what the club do from here, whether it is a failure of a medical. If that is the case, you know, that's not going to help us because other clubs are going to look at that and think, OK, that's not good. That is concerning there that we know, we know these problems exist. And again, the club, I've got a headache here. When it comes to Umtiti, how do we solve this issue? But finally, guys, when it comes to solving issues, when it comes here to problem solving... Let's talk now about Robert Lewandowski, because this obviously is a deal that Barca, they're still hoping to wrap up very, very soon. It's a priority. It's something that Xavi is desperate for ahead of the USA Tour. And has today our case just been helped by what's been happening? Because Lewandowski is now still in training with Bayern, the second day it is here of pre-season training. And I do have to say, looking here at the footage, looking at the photos that you're seeing right now, he looks like a very very frustrated figure. You look there at the body language of Lewandowski. You look at the fact there that he seems to be cut adrift from the rest of his teammates. He's disconnected. He's unhappy. He doesn't want to be there. We knew all this. It's not news to anyone. And apparently, actually, for the session today, he turned up slightly late. He's still in great condition physically. You know, in terms of keeping his body in tip-top condition, he's done all of that. 
But he doesn't want to be there. He doesn't want to be training with Bayern. He doesn't want to be surrounded by these current teammates. And I just think right now, what sort of environment there is that creating at Bayern? This is the brand new season here. You're kicking off your pre-season. You're kicking off a brand new start. And you've got this, this awkwardness surrounding the entirety of the team. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what club you are, how stubborn you are. That's not sustainable. And I think Bayern now... They're kind of realising that. They have seen today that reaction, the mood of Lewandowski. And according to reports, they now are the ones pushing Barca. Bayern are actually the ones reaching out and saying, OK, we'd like to talk. We would like to negotiate this deal and get it done if possible. Because there's rumours now that Bayern would like Barca, the Barca board there, to actually travel to Munich to do this deal face to face and get it done. And there is a willingness on both sides that this is going to happen. And I would look at as well at what Lewandowski's wife posted today on social media she was asked a question there about whether their family would be coming to Barca and she said I would like to know that too and that for me says everything this is a family right now who've been sitting around waiting they are waiting and hoping to start that next chapter they're desperate for it to come but they're just awaiting the green light they are just awaiting now this deal being finalized and hopefully soon in these coming days, maybe this week, we can get it wrapped up. Because right now, we're on a roll. So that there, guys, is a full roundup to recap everything that has happened throughout the day when it comes to Barca. Like I say, please don't forget about the pre-season, the game there that's over on More Talk FCB. Full reaction to Barca getting their summer underway, and there will be lots more coming up here. We've got Dembele tomorrow. There's going to be a video, a full video, all about that renewal of my thoughts. There's also going to be lots coming on Rafinha. It's an exciting time, and this is Barcelona fans. This is what we waited for. A serious a summer, a proper rebuild, and that is very much underway. I will see you soon, guys. Thank you, as always, for your incredible support. Absolutely fantastic. And I will indeed see all of you soon. But until next time, as always, Vishka, El Pasa. Uh -huh.